Hello and welcome back to the channel and today it's a very exciting video. The game Marble Run is going to predict the 22-23 Ishmin South Central Division Final League standings. I've done this um, for last season's teams and um, that was near the end of the season mind you. But this time it's fresh just before the season begins this Saturday the 13th of August. Um, just quickly on the screen now I'm going to show you the predicted league table um, from um, a mixture of fans. Um, and it's sort of an, it's worked out as an average on the official Ishmin League website. And this is myself and a few other fans that took part. So um, the actual predicted league uh, champions are Leverhead, um, with Chertsey in second, and of course us Basingstoke Town in third. And I think that's realistic for Basingstoke. I feel like um, that's where we could end up. But Chertsey, I don't know. They lost a lot of key players and their manager. So it's gonna be a tough year for them. Maybe I don't think they maybe I, I think it's either Basingstoke or, or Chertsey second, third. But um but yeah, it's about right really. Wharton and Hersham are meant to be quite a good team. Bedfont will probably squeeze in the last playoff spot. Hanworth Villa actually are um predicted to do quite well. They got promoted from the league below, I think, uh, last term. Um but yeah, all the rest of got a lot of the usual guys in sort of the mid-table areas there. Um, in terms of the bottom two, it's what I actually predicted, Sutton Common Rovers and Southall to get automatically relegated, no disrespect to them. Um, obviously I don't know much about the, you know, the signings and players that each club has got in this division, so I can't, and I think a lot of fans are in that position, but um, going by obviously the size of the clubs and, and comparing to the other clubs, I think maybe them two will go down, but I could, we could be completely wrong. Um, and of course for the, uh, what is it, the relegation playoff spots. Um, the average is Northwood and Ashford Town to go to uh, battle out on the relegation playoffs, but that's the um, that's the predicted tables for this season. But now it's time for Marble Run to predict the actual league standing. So here we go, five laps Grand Prix. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. Bases Toke on pole position. That wasn't me. <laughs> um, then to the first Ben Bases Toke are winning, but I think it's not. It's Guernsey now that are in the lead. Um, as we see, Bays are near the back now, actually, and it's Bedfont who are last. Um, Northwood leading, Tooting and Mitchum in second, Guernsey in third. At the back is now Waltham and Hersham. This is going to be a great five-lap Grand Prix. This is to see on Marble Run to see who will win the, uh, who will get the, well, who will finish where in, of course, the South Central table come the end of the season. Um, Northwood uh, in real life are going to be probably near the bot, near the bottom. Of the table, they currently lead Binfield in second, uh, Guernsey third, Led Leverhead, Binfield, Chertsey, Merstham, Basingstoke, Southall, Rock Bottom. That's the only real realistic, um, real life um, result we could see here in this um, in this race. And of course, Southall are ground sharing with Ashford Town, so we'll be visiting that ground twice this season. So that'd be quite interesting. But Northwood have opened up quite a nice lead here, and so well Binfield in second as well. Nice big gap with Leverhead in third, in between. Um, back is Southall. Look at that, really slow, struggling to keep up the rest of the pack here. Um, but it's going to be quite a, it's quite a, quite a gap here for Binfield and Northwood. They are runaway first and second here. Leverhead third, Bases at fourth, Bases at just about getting into third, doing battle for third with Leverhead. Two Ting in fifth position with Chertsey just behind. Oh, and Merstham are actually out of the race. They're falling off the track. So that means they're probably going to finish a rock bottom in this race now. That means Merstham are going to get relegated according to the game. We know this is, this is just a laugh. It's not really realistic. This is a bit of fun. So as it stands on here, Merstham are relegated from the South Central Division. I'm sure they won't be happy with back-to-back -back relegations, um, will, will they? Um, pretty, uh, two, uh, Gurn's up to fourth now. Basingstoke have fallen behind, I think, now, haven't they? Where are they? I've not seen them for a while. Uh, da, da, da. So, Binfield in the lead now. They've overtaken, overtook Northwood. I can just about see Basingstoke there in fifth position. Um, Tooting catching up a little bit there in third position. It's getting, getting all exciting now. Going into the final lap. Uh, Sutton Common um, doing very well in fifth position. And as you see, Binfield are in the lead with Tooting second, then Joint Northwood and Sutton Common, Guernsey, Faction, Basingstoke, Chipstead. Uh, so Southall 19th in the last automatic relegation spot, Bedfont in the relegation uh, playoff spots, Hanworth Villa in 17th, 
uh, South Park and Westfield 15th and 16th respectively that's a pretty realistic um, position for them Sutton coming up to third they're in the playoff spot that could be exciting couldn't it and I think this is the last, I think this is the last lap I think that's how it's going to work but I think it's going to be Binfield who are going to win the league with two teams second with the playoffs Sutton coming third Guernsey fourth Bays are stuck just at the playoffs at the moment in sixth position and it's going to be is that the end of the race? I think there's still another lap to go yet. I believe there's still another lap, so it's not over yet. Binfield um, still winning, and Bates is down to sixth, obviously, not in the playoffs yet. North would have completed the best lap time for the entire race, but they're down in ninth position, quite away from the playoff hopefuls. Um, yep, so it's all looking a bit samey down the bottom end of the table. Tooting have got to make up a bit of ground here if they want to win the league. Guernsey in third, they're sure to get a playoff spot. Basingstoke now in fourth position. Can we at least get fifth or above to be in the playoffs for our second year running? Um, and it's looking like I could happen this win third now. We're in third, Basingstoke in third position. Binfield are going to win the league title. I think that's a certain now. But Tooting are not far behind. And it's going to be Binfield are going to win the South Central Division. Yes, that's confirmed. Two team will finish in second. Basingstoke in third. Guernsey fourth. Chipstead in fifth. And then we've got the rest of our of our races here to complete a very exciting Grand Prix race. A quick little bit of fun this to see what the final standards would be in the Isthmian South Central 22-23. And the game predicts that Binfield will win the league title. Two team, Basingstoke, Guernsey and Chipstead are in the playoffs. Northwood and Westfield just missing that in the playoffs. Um... And uh, what's happened there? I was just showing us the full results. Um, so, yeah, Northwood just missing out on the playoffs there. But they did get a best lap along the race. Um, Sutton coming unlucky in ninth place. They were in quite well in third position at one point. Um, you've got the mid-table. Chertsey in mid-table. Marlow mid-table. Levhead finished 15th, disappointingly. Southall stayed up, just about. Um, and you've got Bedfont also joining Mersham in the relegation so Bedford are relegated to the um, the uh, I think it's the fifth level of non-league football, and Hamworth and South Park will complete the race to fight for a relegation playoff spot. Well, that's been a bit of a bit of fun. Um, we'll do the same next year. Might even do a Premier League one of these as well. I might do a few different leagues actually. I quite enjoyed doing this. Um, but let us know your thoughts below on the predicted league table for the South Central Division. It'd be great to hear from you and get some more comments on this on this channel. But um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, it's very much appreciated. Like, uh, hit the like button as well. It helps with the algorithm, which is very important on YouTube. But until then, I've been Matthew. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.